Welcome to another BitKit Plus demonstration. Today I'm going to do a short video on user IDs on microchip PICs. So let's have a look what we've got. I've got um, graphical user interface and um, essentially I'm just going to read that chip and we're going to look at the current user ID then we're going to write it we're going to use a couple of different methods and you can see it's got a number of 00110022003300044 and we're going to see how we do that so I'm going to use um, a great card basic just because it's the fastest thing I have in front of me and how we actually go about that so if I program this part here um, it will generate an, an, um, an assembler file, it will generate a hexadecimal file and then program it. That's the automated part of what we can do. And you can do that in any, um, in any um, editing tool. So I'm just going to look at how we, how we do the explicit command line to make this work. So look, I've got a um, command line in here and that command line is very simple okay with respect to what we're trying to achieve um, on um, user IDs it has a new command called slash s um, dash s now that s is for serial we want to distinguish that from um, other uses so it's serial will write the user ID and you pass it a parameter a string a constant of dash s and a constant and in this particular case, we can use substitution in this type of um, IDE to make that work. So I've got um, a command line that says turn the power on, specify a chip, specify a file, specify a serial number, and then the commands that make that work. So how does it, where is it going to get the serial number from in this particular tool it's in here. We can see the serial number and you can do this from the command line as I'll do it in a moment. So I'm going to change that to 5.5. Five. I'm going to program that and it's going to generate me a hex and then it's going to insert me a, um, a user ID and it's going to change the 4.4 here to 5.5. Five. And there we go. So how can I do that from the command line? Well, you can do the same from any batch file or application that you've got. I've just dropped to the command line here and I'm just going to type in pitkit command line. That's the actually application. There it is. I'm going to tell it to turn the power on. I'm going to tell it to um, which part I'm using. For those who don't know, you can do that. I'm going to give it a file. And it's the same file as um, I was just using a moment ago. I'm going to put a hex file in there and then I'm going to write out I'm going to write it out and this time I'm not going to put um, any user right any user ID on it I forgot the P there and um, I'm just going to check to see what happens before we proceed I read it in we should have the defaults in here of the user IDs and that's correct that's the blank value so let's write um, let's write um, a value out so it's dash s 0x to make sure it's hexadecimal and I'm going to put in some numbers 1111122223334444 and then at the end of the programming command line I put a dash the extra s for serial it will now verify um, and write the user IDs and the rest of the program that was in my original code. So if I read that now, I should have my miracle serial numbers put in here. And there we go. So I can read and read and write um, command lines. So you can do that programmatically, uh, this command line from any application that you've generated, or you can uh, use a source file to pass in uh, parameters. So let's look at um, how we figure out the size of the user IDs. Okay, so um, I'm going to take you to a data sheet and I'm going to show you that the data sheet won't tell you what you need to know. Okay, but I'm going to show you the data sheet because uh, you can. So I'm just starting up um, and a great car basic editor takes you direct to the a data sheet.
Um, if I type in user ID, I get one hit in here, two hits. And trust me, you can hunt and you won't find it. Where you, where you might need to look is in, um, if you look inside the actual product page on microchip, You will, uh, if you go to the documents, and if you open up the Flash specif a programming specification document, you will have a lot more information with respect to the user ID. And look, we get user ID, we're getting e information about the user ID and the, the sizes. Look, a user may store identification information in eight ID locations at a specific location. So, um, it, it finally says what they are. They're eight IDs. Um, if you look at the memory map inside of the data sheet, it might give you more clues. Um, clues. Uh, it says here the ID space is located at this memory location. I'm guessing it tells you somewhere that they're bytes. Now, how do we know they're bytes? Because in the user interface, that's the way they're presented. If I change this to a, um, if I change to a pit kit two, I'm only using a pit kit two because I've got it hooked up to another part, uh, and this part is a um, different part completely. It's a 16F. You can see that the um, that the layouts of the words are different. They're words in this case. It's still eight. But trust me, these user IDs can be very large. So if we look in um, the Microsoft website for that particular part, it was a 16F1885. And then uh, we look at the programming guide. It will tell you that it was at, it's actually words. And it's uh, a number of words. So you have to figure out um, what these are okay and now what I can't what we can do is, is in here it's telling you more information there's quite a lot of information in here it says here that they're located at this local memory location and they're 14 bits in length and that's the crucial thing 18f was bytes this is words in 14 bits in length which means that you are limited to let me check 14 bits is 3 f f f per word so what i'm going to do just to show you this i'm going to change um my my program here i'm going to change it to a, a 16 um, f 1855 I'm going to uh, program it and then we're going to read in the ID. Okay, and we're going to read the ID in here first and then we're going to come in and do it in the command line to show the um, constraints. So here we have the same ID being passed through. Great, let's drop down to here. Now here's my command line down here. Remember, I've got to change this part. And I could certainly write it out here. But what, what I'm going to get is this error here, which says 044XX, which is the command line I am using. I'm using 11223344. is greater than, um, is, too, is not valid. That's because the maximum I can use is 3FFF. -F. Um, and we, we can, we, we know that. So if I set that to 3F, FE just to make sure we don't see a blank um, error, uh, a blank um, value, we can uh, verify it's written correctly. So the tool verifies the, um, the construct. You have to have the correct length. Um, you have to have the right um, constraints. So for instance, if I come into here and only write um, two words uh, it, it will tell you four literal user ID words so um, if you um, have any issues make sure that um, your um, exit code um, in your program is valid so if you if I want to put that a 
put that back to as it was. So it's valid. You can test the exit codes to ensure that uh, you programmed it correctly. So that was a quick introduction into um, using and showing user IDs on microchip, uh, microchip microprocessors. Um, pretty simple. Enjoy. <laughs>